Hi there. Right now we will learn about dodge and burn tool in Adobe Photoshop. So what is dodge and burn tool in Adobe Photoshop? The dodge tool and the burn tool lighten or darken areas of image. Those tools are based on traditional darkroom technique for regulating exposure on specific area of a print. Photographers hold back light to lighten an area on the print or increase the exposure to darken areas on a print. The more you will paint over an area with dodge or burn tool, the lighten or darker it becomes. So let's take a look at how dodge and burn tool works in Adobe Photoshop. We have to open our exercise file for using the dodge tool and the burn tool. So here is the file menu and here is the open option. Okay, inside the color and adjustment folder, you will get this James Unsplash image. So you have to select it and you have to click open. We will use this James Unsplash image for using the dodge and burn tool. So let me click open. Okay, here is our image and you can take a look. It's a drone view of an Iceland. It's a seaside Iceland image and we will apply the dodge tool and the burn tool in here. So let's duplicate the layer for two times. So here is the background layer. Let me duplicate the layer and let me write dodge. Okay. And let's do once more you just have to duplicate layer once again and let me write burn okay right now we have two different layers one is dodge and one is burn tool so we will apply the dodge tool in dodge layer and we will apply the burn tool in burn layer Okay, right now we will apply the burn tool in this image and therefore let me turn off the dodge layer. We will apply the burn tool in the burn layer. So make sure this burn layer is selected. Okay, you will get the burn tool inside the dodge tool. So here is the dodge tool. If you right click with your mouse in dodge tool, then you will get the burn tool burn tool using for make your image darker if you want to make this image darker or if you want to place any dark effect in this image then you have to use the burn tool and you will get three type of range in here shadow midtones and highlights and here is the exposure if you want to increase the percentage of darkness then you have to increase the exposure percentage and if you want to decrease the darkness then you have to reduce the percentage of exposure but we want to place 50 percent this is uh, so good and let me use the shadows as our range so let me use this burn tool brush and i will apply a dark effect in this water area okay let me use the brush in water area in here and you can take a look we got some dark effect in here okay cool so till here we used the shadows range and right now we will apply the highlights range so here is the highlights range and from here i will go for a highlights range okay if you want to use active or stronger darker effect then you can use the highlight range because the highlight range will give you active darker effect okay right now we will take a look the before and after effect in image so let me turn off the burn layer then we will get the previous image so let me turn off the burn layer and you can take a look we got the light 
image in here and we don't have any dark effect on water and let me turn on the burn layer and we got the dark effect in water so this is how burn tool really working in image in adobe photoshop okay right now we will apply the dodge tool in this image and therefore let me select the dodge layer and let me turn on the dodge layer and let me turn off the burn layer okay so right now we will apply the dodge tool in here and dodge tool actually using for making your image brighter so you just have to right click with your mouse in here and here is the dodge tool and let me increase the size of my brush okay 385 pixel is good and we will use use the shadows range in here and we will apply the dodge tool in this tree area okay let's use the dodge tool and you can take a look we got some nice brighter area for trees okay cool and right now i will use the highlights range so let me select the range and let's go for a highlights range okay and let me use the highlights for rest of the areas in here okay we applied shadows and highlights range in here with the dodge tool so let me turn off the dodge layer then we will have the previous view okay let let me turn off the dodge layer okay this is our previous view and after applying the dodge tool let me turn on the layer and we have the brighten effect in the tree area let me turn off this is the previous area and this is the present area after applying the dodge tool so this is how you will apply the dodge tool in adobe photoshop for making your image brighter and you have to use the burn tool for making your image darker